Hey guys, the Platform King back here with some more GTA 3 missions. Uh, this will be the second one for Luigi, second one in total of the game. And it's called Don't Spank My Bitch Up. Which, uh, it's a very interesting title. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. Golly G just for me. There's a new high on the street, goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy. Then introduce this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. Somebody's a bit pissed. <laughs> Anyways, this is another mission I like, Luigi's. Um, we call it. You're gonna need to go pick up the bat, and you actually don't have to. You can actually kill him much quicker uh, by simply running over him. Uh, but sometimes I end up failing that, so anyway. Go and drive over to the Portland docks. And, uh, once again, I'm playing on the preview screen like a noob because I didn't think of that until just now. So, okay, this, this, this mission's easy to be honest. Uh, if it were like an intricate one, like one of the later missions, I would probably fail more, and I took a wrong turn. Fail. Capital F, right there. Run away, bitch. Alright, we got this awesome action music to accompany our beastly failure driving. And once again, I took a wrong turn. That is surprising. I thought that the second time around, I would at least take a right turn. But apparently, I did not. Oh my goodness, this car is trashed to hell. Get out, get, get, get out. I'm gonna steal this faggot's truck. Here, this is the street we need to be on. I do not know why I missed it yet twice, but I think it'll be fine, and holy shit! Uh, controls are quite loose in this game. Okay. It's basically right here he is, and you can just easily run over him with the truck, or whatever car you have, but we're gonna beat him up with a bat, because, you know, I felt like it. It's funner. Now we gotta go take the car and get it resprayed. Now, uh, the cops do not chase you uh, for this. But uh, I think it's in Liberty City Stories. You do something similar to this and they do. That's okay. I got this reggae music to accompany us this time. Not action music, reggae music. It's a bit different. <laughs> it's a completely different tone to the uh, situation. Controls are really loose on this car, they're quite tight. Oh no, they're still loose. They're just like even weirder. Slow down your wheels. Stay off the spank, my bridgeman. Okay, um Wow, do not hit into that pole. One of the good things about driving to the pain spray is that if you destroy your car to hell, uh, you get it resprayed for free, so yeah. Doesn't really matter. Uh, is this the right turn? Yes, it is. I really recommend, if you're new to playing GTA, that you uh, memorize where this is, the paint spray. It is a very useful tool, knowing where this is located. Comes in quite handy. Oh, cops won't recognize you. So now we gotta store it. And I think you can smash it into things on this mission. Some missions in some GTA games where you do a similar to this, you know, you get a car and you get it resprayed. If you smash it up, they'll be like, hey, you're damaging the car, go get it, you know, sprayed again. But, not on this mission. And the lockup is right here. It's quite easy to miss, so I would keep an eye out for it. Woo! Go in. Oh, I smashed it. Wow, it's beaten to hell. But that's okay. Mission passed $4,000. Alright, well, that will conclude this video. And uh, see you guys in the next GTA mission video. Thanks for watching. And subscribe.